Hey folks, this is Dustin Brett here with ESEA News bringing you the top 10 plays from the Season 16 ESEA land. At number 10, we're going to have Pasha Avertis Pro on an eco round against I Buy Power here on DE Inferno. So find a quick initial mid pick there on today's with the CZ before making a rotation over to B Bomb site where he will find a second frag on the Skadoodle. And then he will creep through the smoke to find a third on the AZK and a fourth onto Swag to complete the quad kill as his team would go on to win that map 16 to 14. Now at number 9, we're going to have Taz Avertis Pro this time up against Navi here on DE Season as he hit behind the cat box with the 5-7 to get the eco frag. There he collects an AK, grabs a quick second frag onto Zeus, and after a bit of maneuvering is able to find a third frag onto Guardian before making his way into Bucket for the reload, and then eventually the 4K with a nice box spam onto Sinia as they would take that map 16-10. Now at number 8, we're going to have Swag of I Buy Power up against Complexity and one of the two times they would have to play them on DDoS2 as he will be able to get the first two frags there onto Anger and Kiko with some nice headshots and he'll find a third headshot onto Nothing as well before finally maneuvering himself to a B Tunnel's flank where he will work his way in for a fourth kill with the headshot onto Sean Gares. Now at number 7, we're going to have Seas of Navi up against Complexity here on Inferno, and he will make a nice play at Banana with a good pop flash to secure a quick 3 kills there at the Pillars. Now after a couple of nades and a reload, he'll be able to come back out here around the corner, find himself the 4th onto Nothing, and then the 5th onto Sean Gares to complete the ace And what was a fairly impressive round here from Seas of Navi. Now next up at number 6 we're going to have Steel of Abai Power up against Over Gaming on DE Cash in the opening round of Upper Bracket Play and he will get a nice one tap there on the flip and find a second headshot on the Kyrie as he will be hiding over here by the generator and he will pop up to find a third headshot there onto Lowy and finish it off with yet another one tap onto Mason to complete a pretty solid quad kill here at the number 6 spot. Now at number 5 we are going to have Swag here in a 1 vs 3 situation up against Complexity on the final map of the Grand Finals on Nuke. And he will open up a 2 quick frags there before finding himself in a 1 vs 1 against Symphys where he will be able to find the reload behind the side silo and complete the 3 kills to secure the map and the victory in the Grand Finals. Now next up at number 4 we're going to have Nothing who is in a clutch situation here against Navi on DE Inferno for a chance to move on to play I by Power in the upper bracket finals. As you can see he'll get the opening frag there, maneuver his way into Banana, find a nice second frag on the seas at the pool before now coming up against a split where he has to get a kill at Triple Box and Dark Spot and he'll find both of those headshots in a completely rapid and accurate fashion. He'll get the defuse as well to secure the round and help Complexity move on. Now at number 3, we're going to have one of two clutches that Hiko is able to get on DDoS2 at this event. And this one will come up against Nip and what might have been one of the most historic upsets in CSGO. As we do see Hiko popping off a couple of frags there, getting the bomb plant in and defending the bomb against one player at long and Cat, And he'll find it as he does get the kill there onto Forest for the third kill and then finally a fourth to take down Fist Laren. Next up here at the number 2 play, we're going to focus on Guardian here of Navi up against Virtus Pro on DE Train as he will get the opening pick onto Stacks to move into the bomb site to go ahead and get the bomb plan. Now after the bomb plan, he will maneuver himself around the bomb train to find himself a second frag and then get forced into a 1 versus 3, but look at him go getting the frag onto Taz and Biali and then coming around for the mid-air kill onto Neo. Now for the number one play, we're going to have Hiko in a 15 to 14 score situation against Navi as he will be holding the A platform here and he will deliver three quick frags onto C, Zeus, and Sinia as he maneuvers himself around the site box to try to find the final frag here and the 4k and the win and he will do it as he gets that kill onto Guardian. This will help Complexity move on to play against I by Power in the upper bracket final. Now we appreciate all of you for tuning in here to the top 10 plays from ESCA News. Be sure to follow and subscribe so you can catch all the great content we have here for you. But this is Dust Moret signing out. Until next time.